What's up, Internet? I'm Hollander Cooper. Henry Gilbert. And we're here, the hosts of Super Smash Bros. Wii U Weekly, to talk about stuff that isn't Super Smash Bros. Are we qualified for this? I think we at least know Nintendo enough for that. I mean, there's more at Nintendo's booth than Super Smash Bros. There sure is, and we've gone hands-on with all of it that we've been allowed to legally touch, and some that we haven't been allowed to. We probably shouldn't talk about those. So let's jump into some of the games we've seen so far. So we just got done playing Splatoon, and wow, it's actually a lot more fun than I thought. It's almost like you're, you're running around in like a third-person shooter, shooting ink on the ground or paint, and turning into a squid to go through it. It's like Team Fortress had a baby with the reverse version of Mario Sunshine. Yeah, it's very much like Mario Sunshine. It's from the Nintendo EAD team that works on all those Mario games, and it's as imaginative as you would think. Like, it is 4v4, uh, you know, shooter matches in third person, but with weird and silly things in it, like you can not just swim in the ink as a squid, but also rock it out of it into, uh, to get to your other players. Yeah. So after checking out Hyrule Warriors, I can definitely say it is a Dynasty Warriors game with Link <laughs> characters in it. When I stepped up to it, they were like, hey, have you played a Dynasty Warrior game before? I'm like, yeah, I have. X, 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 Y, Y, slash, boom. I was killing Moblins left and right. But those Moblins look good as hell. Up close, when you're not watching it through a choppy Nintendo Direct or on a messy YouTube video, it looks really, really good. Really I mean, it doesn't look as good as next-gen Zelda, but it looks better than you probably expected. So I played Mario Maker a little earlier. It's exactly what it looks like. It's a super simplified thing, kind of like Little Big Planet, where you're just making levels and platforming in them. Uh, you can probably look at the screen right now and see that I made the most garbage crap level ever. It's like a volcano if a volcano sucked. I really like about it that you can swap between 8-bit and new Super Mario Brothers U style art. Of course, as a more retro fan, I'm going to be sticking with the 8-bit art. I think I can make something at least 1.1% as good as a level in original Super Mario Bros. You're just gonna remake 1-1, one, one, aren't you? Yeah, probably. So Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker is a game I really wanted to exist last year when I was playing Super Mario 3D World. They're these 3D puzzles that they had as like little side games in 3D World that now are their own game. You're just Captain Toad walking around this like square or this cube looking for all the uh, hidden treasure in there. Though it looks like it's a lot more complicated. If you played the ones in 3D World, you were probably like, oh, these are cool. Maybe they'll make a quick downloadable. They're fleshing it out into a full, huge game. And it looks to be almost like they're just giving Toad a full spin-off, finally. Finally, as in we've all been, oh yeah, yeah, Toad spin-off. Yeah, we've all been waiting for that. But seriously, it looks like a full game. Full disclosure, Yoshi's Woolly World might be the best named game of all time. Um, it looks great, it plays great, it's basically Yoshi's Epic Yarn except with a crocheted Kirby and it honestly looks like there's physical stuff, you just want to like reach in and pull out the Yoshi and just like mush it against your face and take a long relaxing nap. Yeah, it doesn't just feel like a skin over polygons, like the way they move and just bounce off things like, no, you're made of yarn, like these guys look like they're made of yarn, you even throw yarn balls instead of uh, egg. Yeah, like, it's very stop motion. -y. Yeah, I love it. So did you play the DS game Kirby's Canvas Curse? I did. So I was super excited to see that Kirby and the Rainbow Curse is a sequel for the Wii U. Interestingly, it's it gets rid of that aesthetic and it's like claymation. Like you're actually drawing clay and going around it. You're actually not technically touching like the controls, you're just using the touch screen, which means that even though it's on the Wii U, you are going to be all looking at almost exclusively the touch screen. But if you're a fan of that original game, you're gonna love it. And if you're not a fan of that, you're gonna be, because it's freaking awesome. So that's everything at the Nintendo booth that isn't Smash Brothers. Well, it's not everything. There's also Mario Party, there's Bayonetta, but those are the things that are brand new at the show that we were able to play. Woo, everyone's cheering back there. I think something Smash Brothers related happened, which means we should probably leave to go check it out. I think so too, but yeah, I, I really like that it's such a diverse lineup of games here, and there's gonna be just so much, like there's a lot coming from Nintendo in the next year. Yeah, so if you're a Nintendo fan, you got a bunch of games coming out. You can go to gamesradar.com to find out about the new Zelda, which is basically Skyrim with cell shit. Oh god, it looks so good. Oh, and yeah. so many other things. So be sure to subscribe to Games Radar on YouTube. Like us on things that you can like us on. I don't know how the internet works. We're gonna go play Smash Brothers. Bye. Bye.